Hello everybody and welcome to FTL Mod Season 3. You may think everything is looking alright when you're looking at this. It doesn't, right? There's gonna be a lot of wrong. Anyway, um, I was asked to revisit the Busco from the Gen Cool Bizarre mod, so that's probably what we're doing. There's a lot of updates were going on and I apparently had a really old version and with things that weren't alright at the time. Um, Anyway, this should be uh, the latest version, and I think we are going to be ready to kick things off with. Considering this is post comment, there we go. Things, things may be odd. Anyway, it seems like Flack has been added. Um, good at taking that she's hot aim as a 19 second cool. I'm gonna give it three power. I come across this in a store. I'm not entirely sure if that was meant to happen. Um, but anyway, yes, 19 seconds on. 3 power means, considering I came across it in a store, uh, all sorts of weird things, honestly. Um, there's some math to be done, but I don't think it's going to be uh, that important. Anyway, I think we are about to hit starts at some point in this lifetime. Um, another thing that changed is that the clone base should be less accessible to us than it was on the time I did it. should only be available to us at stores, I believe, but in return we have been given a miniaturized version of the recon teleporter. Anyway, um, why is this post-commentary? Well, the first nine minutes of commentary are missing. And the last nine minutes of footage are missing. So I am not completely clear on what the butts happened there. But that's the way the situation is right now. So I can look at myself, play, point out my own mistakes for once in a while. And um, yeah, until at least nine minutes. Does mean I might be saying things that I may repeat later on, but so be it. Um, I got lucky here to get an engineer. I was planning on not making the same mistake as last time that was sticking with the uh, in between quotes lore I suppose and sticking with the eight mantis provided to me. No, instead I'm gonna go and get some NGs on board because they are just too handy to have around. Because they're pretty much the up complete opposite of mantis and I got really lucky here by getting two of them really soon, both of which I stick to pilot and engines, respectively. Anyway, um, <clears throat> as you can see, we're not capable of activating the teleporter, and um, we also, not the teleporter, the clone bay, we also don't actually get prompts for this, but instead, um, the teleporter just become teleporter again? The clone bay just becomes active, meaning all crew that was lost is returned to you, and when you jump um, and your clone bay isn't damaged, of course, then they will get all of their health back. Alright, next spell of combat shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, we are in danger here, but for Mantis this early on, there isn't too much that can uh, stop you there. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna be more than fine here. How can I be pretty sure? Well, I mean, I've already did this run, so I know I'm fine. Yeah, that's probably one of them. Um, but yeah, it's a bit odd. Uh, I got the first nine minutes of commentary gone and the last nine minutes of footage. So I think Cantasia really mucked that one up. Could have been by something I did, I'm not entirely sure, but... Uh, as you can see, the uh, mini recon teleports works pretty nicely. Which is good because you don't have that clone bay as much anymore. But as you can see, we now reach a store and our clone bay is... Hey, look at that. I actually spotted that myself. My clone bay is actually active. No need to power it because, you know, I didn't lose any crew and the heal is a passive one. Anyway, I got about four more minutes before the actual commentary begins. With some few more seconds at the end of post-commentary to explain that the end is missing, even though we already know that, but I hate leaving people without a proper goodbye. Unless I'm pissed off, then I just do it, because 
blech. Um, I thought it would have been worse, actually, but it seems like I still have the most of it, so at least it's not that bad. So it's like, how much did we miss out on an actual gameplay? Like, yeah, nine minutes. Well, eight and a half. I hope this doesn't come a normal thing for Camtasia, otherwise I'm going to have to go look at other programs. Apparently OBS is pretty good for it. But, um, and uh, this, this time around I can't even get the Twitch of odd because I decided not to stream this on Twitch. Hmm. Anyway, that's the way it is. Um... Yeah. Either way, things are going uh, quite uh, nicely. Timing on that is pretty wonderful, I'd say. Give me a sec. Sorry about that. Gotta love it when people open your door, say nothing, and then just leave your door open anyway. Um, yeah, I think I was waiting on what the uh, fire was up to there. Because, you know, if that fire goes rampage, I could lose all of my boring crew, which would have been uh, a bit of a disaster. But they managed to take care of it, and then we managed to take care of them. The pair burst. A weapon I really don't see too much use for, personally, but, you know. So it could be handy if the room really gets messed up. Again, spell of combat that really shouldn't be that big of a problem. And move those through the shields, yeah. Still get hit because you know that's the way this game works. If you don't get hit, you're doing something wrong. Hmm. And anyway, I got about a minute left. I really do wonder what happened to make me lose eight and a half minutes on both ends on two completely different things. Quite odd. Quite odd. Combat MK2 is great cell fodder, though. Been a weird wave of recordings today. I lost out on a lot of music when I did the stream itself as well, so. I don't know, maybe my game is doing some weird stuff. Anyway, we really get the wonderful choice of abandoned sector or abandoned sector. Anyway, this is. Probably a good time for me to start ending the post commentary as you soon enough will be reintroduced to active commentary. So, you know, looks like it is actually nine minutes that we lost instead of eight and a half. <laughs> Fancy that, lads. Fancy that, lads. Anyway, at least uh, you can't tell me that I left you guys in. Uh, well, without commentary. I'm not that kind of guy. Anyway, the normal commentary will resume in about seven seconds. Learn to turn that off. One, two, three, four. Oh no, it's gonna take the ship out, isn't it? No, it didn't. Okay, good. That was way too close. Okay. Did these dudes heal from teleporting? Yeah, protection in your club will only be active on store beacons or by visiting sport jumps. This augment will keep them safe until then. See club description for more. Clone will not heal crew between jumps when inactive, but will fully heal them when jumping away from stores. Revisit beacons. For power equals instant clones. Okay. Hmm. 
So I got a partial recon teleport. Am I reading that right? Let's see. Yeah, partial recon teleporter. Okay. I can dig it. Uh, merchant ship is docked with lands transport, seizing the help, turns out to be studying to ship metal. Ah, uh, sure, give us a weapon. Flag on Mark 1. Nice. Looks like we don't have to go to our store, which is. Good, I wasn't planning on doing it anyway. Um, remnants of his fierce battle scattered among the hulks attack the ship. Yes. And I got some pretty potent stuff as well, but I'm hoping that our basic laser will make quick work of it. No, not in there. Oh, not dodging that. <laughs> An image of a silent Lanius captain appears in your model room. Image of their well filled cargo hold below. Follow. You come to the conclusion they are trying to barter for a ceasefire. No. No, you caused us a bit too much problems there, for sport. Might as well be on shields. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. Is the allies, okay. Upon arrival, the missile run by chaos. The planet's anti ship batteries firing on a number of landing ships. One of the combat ships mistakenly believes your ship has arrived to assist the planetary defenses. What? Number of landing ships, one of the combat ships mistakenly believes. Okay. Oh, and it's the same ship. Yeah, uh, you went for my teleporter. What, you obviously thought I would teleport? <laughs> you really thought that? You poor idiot. Well, you know what this is gonna end up doing? The answer is not taking out the missile launcher. Ooh, they did. Fire did that, huh? Alright, make sure the ESB hits so this will finish him off. Man, that f ESB looks ugly compared to what I'm accustomed to. It turns out it was the flak that did it. Alright. Good stuff. We, get, we can get flak online now if we want to. Then we'll probably want to at some point. Tag land your ship. Seems like a perfect spot to turn on our flag. They can't really harm us anyway. I mean, they definitely can't. Okay, EZ. Okay, my crew can patch up some of your hull. No, you can't. My hull is pristine. Uh, just beacon, blah blah blah, trap, blah blah blah. Let's see what we're up against. Ah, one of those again, huh? All right, so we'll take that thing down first. And I suppose we'll wait for the fire to die out before we board in that room as well. Cool. 
Let's fire a bit so our guard can level up while we wait. I suppose I could send the others on board as well. Can I actually do that? I think I can only bring people back, right? Just the two NGs. Let's have a peek. Yeah, I can only bring back. Okay. Continue. Doesn't look like you have too much crew on board there. Let's have a peek at that, and then we'll decide on how many people we're sending over. Okay, so let's just send the injured ones over. You're fine, so out. Okay, you three are going over. Well, you four. Go fight the NG. Okay, that means our head G is once again a fine and dandy. Pretty much the only one that needed a tune-up. Alright, good sector. Should probably repair my doors. Eh, whatever. Uh, I'm trying to be a hero, attack the pirates. Once again, got drones. Is there a repair drone or something? Ooh, Lanius. Mm, it's in a big room, and they should die pretty quickly. We can always move around. As long as they don't turn off their auction, we should be fine. Okay, let's try this. Move to here. Move you to here. And that was a missile which we couldn't really do too much about because I couldn't be bothered shooting at them. Okay, you two move to here, you two move here. There we go. Parts are all dead, leaving the ship dead in space. Well, closer. Ta -ta 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 -ta. You destroy the ship. We're at the exits, and I don't think we want to do another in journey. Instead, we will repair all of the breaches, meaning hurting the crew we so desperately tried to get back to full health. We'll send you over again, uh, should we f have a need to. Hmm. I suppose if I did wait, then I could have done toot toot toot. Which I can't now. Oh well. Uh, sure, rebel, rebel controlled. Rebels are easy to beat up on. NGs aren't the worst either, mind you, but... <clears throat> when it comes down to it... Rebels tend not to have fancy pants. Medbots. They do have the ice ships. They do have the ice ships. That's a pretty lengthy cloak you got there, sport. Wait, that took out everything? How the hell? I only did two damage to that. Or did the basic laser hit as well? I think the basic laser hit as well. Which would explain everything. Double artillery. No, double flak. One coming from the artillery. Ion Blast Mark II. Takes three pa Ah, it's the quick firing one. I was wondering why that was so high. Okay, we got some stuff to sell, so let's. Well, 
Oh, he's scattering, man. Sell you, sell you. Mm. How much is the next upgrade? 50. We could swing that, but... Actually, I probably won't never use this thing. So let's buy one of these. And we'll then also upgrade our engines a bit. Alright, let's go beat up some more dudes. Never think back to full health because we just exited a shop. Tag the image ship to get to the storage cache. And you're done. Lights out. A buffer in rows, you don't see that too often. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, seven shots. They all whiffed, of course. This being a small ship and such. Is it raining outside? Starting to rain. Defender of Mark II, not a bad thing, but again, we probably want nothing to do with that. Okay. Let's keep going. Tutors on board. Oh, you poor idiots. Are we in danger? Nope. Do they have an anti-personnel drone? Yep. Why did we get so many of those now? Is it just because they are a royal pain in the butt that we just notice that they have them more? Or do they actively seek out what your strategy is and then give you ships that counter that strategy? Hmm. Interesting. You don't really see too many of those drones, so hmm. I'm intrigued. Um... I'm gonna go like this and like this, I think. Well, you missed. Which means we are gonna wait a little while longer. Artillery, we have no need for you. We're not boarding until this thing goes down. And the med base stays down, of course. That's a requisite as well. And that drone is still moving. There we go. Alright. Let's keep moving. The level of time on ships is... Indeed, that's what I said. It uh, means gibberish. That's starting to come down hard. Hmm. Well, it like the sounds of the rain. Well, that's a problem, isn't it? Isn't it? You weren't using those shields. Yeah, it looks like you don't need them. Our accuracy is horrible enough anyway. <clears throat> okay. Another auto ship. Seems to be quite a few of them, then again we are in rebel space, and uh, apparently they are too chicken to send out normal ships, so... <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you for playing.
Better getting up there and punching power. And a flak finishes it off. So there were some key differences with last time. Apparently we didn't have artillery. We do now. And uh, most notably, we don't have access to the clone bay at every given moment anymore as we did last time. And another change is that we have that sort of pseudo recon teleporter. Go Mantis, you can do it. I could probably send the NG, we have no need for evasion anyway, but you know, make him make that dude feel like he's useful. Huh? Yeah. Go Mantis, you'll save us all because we'll be able to see what's going on inside of an auto ship, which is actually nothing at all, but you know. Whatever makes him feel good, eh? You know, I'll go here and we'll upgrade our sensors. I really miss the advanced pursuit indicator. Ship seems using the cliff here, okay, okay, okay. Looks like we'll be able to make it though. <coughs> Intervene to defend the outposts. They shot a drone at me. I wonder how long he's gonna last. Not long. Wonderful. Um, we are ready to go in as well, so we shall. We'll let uh, the NGs take care of the breach. If we're quick about it, that drone is not even going to reach. Cool. Our auction's on fire though, which is a little less than ideal. Uh, go for a fire, I suppose. Even like having two NGs on board is definitely not an unnecessary thing. Could do this. Do we really need it already? I don't think so. Let's say for cloaking. I actually don't know what other thing we can buy on this. Cloaking, hacking. I could look it up. I easily could. Now the Ford missile hits. Nope. <laughs> ah, timing. Such a wonderful thing. See, he doesn't know that the engine is helping and he thinks like he's doing a really good job. So, you know, let him have his beliefs. And our abandoned sector, alright. Wonderful. Maybe we should upgrade our weapons, because again, it doesn't look like we're going to be doing too much boarding. A lot of distress beacons, let's go check those out first. When you get to the beacon, you quickly try to locate the source of distress calls. You're looking, the signal blinks out, it's then that you notice a small fleet of scavenger ships absorbing brief from a large battle nearby. You can't help but wonder where the strike signal came from, but decide not to risk pressuring the fleet. So, the stress beacons can be pointless as well now. Yay! I think they already could be, but you know. Uh, Pegasus missile, we can sell that. It's not a bad weapon, but I really don't like missile weapons. Oh no, my clone bay. Well, we do need to get keep that fully level because that means our crew will be fully healed when we do get access to it. 
And that's important, you know. Uh, try to be a hero, attack, continue. We've got a Zoltan on board, which is annoying because they explode, causing damage. Um, go get him. I think you can kill him before we get hit by a missile. That would have been too wonderful. I don't know. Two the missile mists. Sweet. I may have hit a button there that I didn't want to hit, but it's probably fine. You know, the last known location of the merchant delivery. You're going to scan for the last ship. Saved by pirates. Must be the mission delivery ship. You're going to rescue them. And they're going to board us. And we're going to get shot by yet another missile. Huzzah! Like they say, man, missiles only work well on the enemy. Or for the enemy. And they're not wrong. Because... You can't really use missiles as much as you like, because you have to keep a constant eye out for your stockpile of missiles. The enemy has no such worries, because after every encounter it's dead, never to be seen again. Oh well. I mean, on the other hand, beams and everything and burst weapons seems to be... Oh wait, what? Uh... Okay. That's uh... That's a big missile, isn't it? Now why did I move you all the way back here? That's no point. Okay. There we go. Alright. You can go back in. Good job. Yeah. Well, Lanius is toast. Yeah, toast. Along with the entire ship, of course. Compared to gone, you investigate debris, but it looks like Lanius harvested much of it before you arrived. Well, isn't he a greedy little piece of work, huh? Anyway, we got enough money again to buy every system we could possibly want. And double missile launcher. Well, I mean, what did you expect, once again? The game really seems to like its missile launchers, and I can't really blame mods at this point, because besides the boost go, I have no other mods running. Well, I could better plant some backgrounds, but I don't think that changes anything. But if it does, <clears throat> it doesn't. Double missile launchers! <laughs> Game, come on, man. I mean... How is it possible that that keeps on happening? As often as it does. It just boggles the mind. Like, boom, there's four hull damage for you that you probably could not possibly avoid. What's going on here, man? You used to be cool, FTL. You used to be cool. We will not accept surrender. So you that what's up with all the missiles? Is the problem even worse in vanilla? Never thought Camzish and stuff like that made things worse. Well, probably not gonna get a missile launcher here because, yeah, now we get to deal with a halberd, which is even better.
Stuck on that. Okay. My control needs to go off as well. No. No, 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 no. You're being jerks. I can't have that. You can't let jerks stay alive. That's just... Not right. And welcome back to post commentary to finish this run. Unfortunately, nine minutes of game footage have been lost. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you're still in the series. Feel free to support by coming, liking, and or subbing if you haven't already. I'm seeing you guys on the next episode. Bye, everyone.